Robert G. Edwards was a man who pushed and changed the science boundaries. In 2010, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine for his achievements in in vitro fertilization, which is a process that fertilizes the egg outside of the uterus. He deserved to win this prize because it has changed millions of families and is still in use. Robert G. Edwards was born on September 27, 1925 in Bately, United Kingdom. When he was young, he went off to fight in the war, but he was always an avid learner. He studied agriculture sciences at the University College of North Wales, but unfortunately failed. But then he discovered an an animal genetics course at Edinburgh University and studied there. He worked with young elated scientists who all studied the biology of a mouse together. Among the people there, he met his lifelong partner and love, Ruth Fowler. He also studied sperm-egg interactions. He was offered a position at the National Institute of Medical Research. For the next five years, he focused on biomedicine. Then he was partnered up with Patrick Steptoe. The idea of in vitro fertilization blossomed. In 1969, they fertilized the first egg outside of a woman's body. Then, in 1978, the first test tube baby was born. Louise Brown was the first baby born by in vitro fertilization. Her birth revolutionized the medical world as we knew it. Many couples were given a second chance because of this. Their advancements gained lots of attention. In 2001, Robert G. Edwards was awarded with the Lasker Award. This award celebrates monumental achievements. In 2010, Robert G. Edwards was awarded with the Nobel Prize in Medicine. Unfortunately, Steptoe had passed away before he could receive the prize, too. All of his efforts had paid off. In 2013, Robert G. Edwards passed away, but he and his work will never be forgotten. So what exactly is in vitro fertilization? In vitro fertilization is a procedure developed by Robert G. Edwards and Patrick Steptoe that fertilizes the egg outside of the uterus. The steps are ovulation induction, egg retrieval, sperm retrieval, fertilization, and embryo transfer. First, at the start of a cycle, the woman receives synthetic hormones that stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple eggs. After one or two weeks of that, the eggs are retrieved. During this process, an ultrasound probe is inserted into the vagina. Then a needle is inserted into the ultrasound guide, which goes into the follicles to gather eggs. Eggs can also be retrieved laparoscopically. Then the sperm is retrieved. In most cases, the male provides a semen sample. In the lab, that sample is separated into sperm and semen fluid. Other methods can be used, and that includes testicular aspiration. In this process, sperm is gathered directly from the testicle through a needle. In other cases, a sperm donor may be used. Now it is time for fertilization. There are two processes to achieve this. The first is insemination, where egg and sperm are mixed and incubated overnight in a culture medium. The second is called ISCI, or intracytoplasmic sperm injection. When insemination has failed or the quality is an issue, ISCI is used. In this technique, the DNA from the sperm is directly injected into the egg via needle. Between 12 and 48 hours later, fertilization has occurred. Now we call this an embryo. The embryo is then placed into the growth medium where cell division is observed. Once there are about eight cells, which takes two to three days, the embryo is planted into the uterus. This is used by a catheter, which is inserted through the cervix and into the uterus. Then a syringe containing the embryos is connected to the end of the catheter. This syringe then places said embryos. If successful, the embryo will implant in the uterus lining and the pregnancy will begin. The leading cause of a failed in vitro pregnancy is an unsuccessful implantation.
Robert G. Edwards deserved to win a Nobel Prize in medicine because in vitro fertilization has changed millions of families' lives and is still in use today. The world's first test tube baby, Louise Brown, was born in 1978. The processes quickly spread around the world and the first American test tube baby was born in 81. This process has helped millions of families reach a second chance. There are many reasons why couples cannot have children naturally. There may be medical reasons like blocked fallopian tubes or low sperm counts. They also may be homosexuals. But with in vitro fertilization, these people can have a chance. In conclusion, Robert G. Edwards was a man who always strived and lived a long life of achievement. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 2010 for his in vitro fertilization development. In vitro fertilization is a process that removes the eggs, fertilizes them outside, and then places them back into the uterus for pregnancy. Robert G. Edwards fully deserved to win this award because it is still in use today and has helped millions of families have a second chance with a child.